You see, Sam's fingerprints will be all over the contraband that the police find in the apartment. I'm impressed. No, no, no. It was simple, really. You know, Sam allowed herself to be so distracted by my affair with her mother. Poor Sam. She was practically begging to take the fall. <laughs> Run that by me again. Your father's offering me total control of the car organization, and as an act of good faith, I have to marry you. Please tell me you said no. I need to hear some magic words here. Words like no, no, hell no, unthinkable. Do you really like believe I'd marry you? If the price was right and the deal was sweet enough, yeah. We wouldn't be having this conversation if we were in Yeah, but Kate so, got shot at your wedding, so it doesn't okay, bode well. I'm not going to have a conversation with you about Kate right you, now. You brought it up. Yeah, I did, so I'm going to tell you exactly what's going on here. I can't go after Car Pop on my own, unfortunately, because he is so deeply connected to the Russian syndicate. Daddy actually offered you the Zakhar organization? First thing I do is take out Car Pop. I'd run the organization as I see fit, and then, as an act of good faith, I'd marry you. Make sense? From a business perspective. Never gonna happen. I know you have trouble thinking long term, Jason. So, let me put it in perspective for you. Well, Sonny gave you the organization. Now he wants it back. You don't want to give it to him, so that makes you an enemy. Even more than Karpov. But not because... Not because it's going to spoil us happily ever after with Kate. Because it has to do with power. You know? Prestige. Money. Respect. See, Sonny wants that all back. That's the only reason that he got involved with the Zakars. Because he wants to come after you. And I don't know what's going to happen. It's going to be maybe tomorrow, maybe ten years from now. But at some point, Sonny is going to have to make a decision and threaten your life to get back what is rightfully his. And you're going to have to make a choice. This is what you've wanted all along. This whole time you wanted, you wanted Sonny so turned around that he can't tell the difference between friends and the enemy. You know, it's really ironic, though. See, I spent all those years trying to bring Sonny down. <laughs> now... The person who's going to do all the dirty work is you. Just like always. It wouldn't be the first time Daddy tried to get rid of me, but, you know, no offense, your wives don't fare too well. Zakara family politics aren't my problem. It's too late for that. You already let Daddy know you want something. I don't have to tell you. I mean, you've been a boss for a long time. You were. Plus, you must be considering it, or we would not be having this conversation. There are major weaknesses in your father's organization. He's an old man. Trevor doesn't want to get his hands dirty. Your brother is a loose cannon, and, you know, he needs someone to run things. You need something to run. You're sick and tired of sitting out there on the sidelines, right? I mean, obviously, you're motivated to go after car pop, but what's really driving you here is that you want back in. You want to be a gangster again. And if you want to do that, then you're going to have to talk yourself into marrying me. So you would actually consider marrying me? Every marriage I've ever seen mm -hmm. of close and personal has ended badly or tragically. I just don't really see the point of it, besides you seem to hate me most of the time. But you could still have great sex. So you would marry me? Not a chance. You're going to have to find another way to prove your loyalty to my father, and good luck with that, by the way. You know, this is not the 15th century. We're not the Borgia family from Italy, that, that crazy Italian family from... We're probably related to them, though, aren't we? I'm considering white roses for next spring. I love the virginal connotation. You know, new beginnings and all that. You cannot just marry me off to the highest bidder. Sonny made a beeline to you, didn't he? No, we haven't. Ooh, 
Maybe I should start keeping bees. We happen to bump into each other at the Metro Card Hotel. And, and he just happened to bring up my proposal. Yeah, to let me know that he wasn't okay with it, and that it was never going to happen, and to see if I was in on it. He's testing you, Claudia. He wants to find out where you stand, and that means he's considering the offer. No matter what he said. Well, then he's crazy, because there's no way in hell I'm going to marry Sonny Corinthos. You and I have been getting along so well since you managed to save your brother's freedom and probably his life when you were on the witness stand. You impressed me, Claudia. So why do you want to go spoil everything by being difficult? You can't just give somebody my hand as part of a business deal. Love is vastly overrated. Sonny is shut out of his own organization. He wants Karpov dead, and you're just waiting for him to get angry enough and desperate enough to come to you on your terms. You're very bright, Claudia. You've got an excellent mind, and you're devious and treacherous. Who wouldn't want to marry you? Sonny! And I don't want to marry him either. Wouldn't you like to be married to the head of the Zakara family? You'd be in bed, literally, with the man who has all the power. Until you take it away from him. And then what? Where does that leave me then, Daddy? You don't honestly expect me to believe that you're going to hand over the Sakara organization to Sonny. Permanently. No. And for all I know, you're planning on killing us both. Why do you always think the worst of me? Gee, I don't know. Besides, you're going to leave everything to John. Leave me what? Everything. The organization, me, your big sister. If Daddy has his way, my new husband, Sonny Corinthos. Your sister doesn't appreciate the kind of dowry I want to give her. Dowry? <laughs> yeah, you know, something that a father used to give his daughter away to, like, some random guy back in the 15th century, you remember? The place where our father would fit in comfortably. What the hell are you guys talking about? Claudia will explain the details. She loves the idea. She just doesn't want to show it. Is he off his meds? Daddy offered Sonny the entire Zakara organization. All Sonny has to do to show good faith is marry me. That's insane. Yes, Sonny wasn't real crazy about the idea either. You've talked to him about this? Why? Claudia, there's no way in hell you're going to marry Sonny Corinthos. The guy treats you with complete disregard and disrespect. Daddy doesn't care. He'll care once I'm through with him. Wait, John, wait. It's a waste of time right now to try to talk to him. You know how he gets when he gets like this. Besides, you know, it might not be such a bad idea for me to marry Sonny once we figure out how to use it to our advantage. Sonny treats you like garbage. Besides, look what happened to his last bride. I'm not going to let you marry him. Daddy only has one daughter to marry off to seal this deal. That gives me a lot of options. I could marry Sonny and make Daddy happy. Or I could not marry Sonny and leave them both stranded. Or I could marry somebody else. And what would that accomplish? Uh, it depends on who I marry. <laughs> you are not going to marry anybody. You're missing the point, little brother. For the first time in a long time, I have real power in this family. Right? I'm in a position to make or break a major deal, and I don't mind telling you. I'm... I'm okay with that. Okay, I need to know who Sonny's been in contact with. It's moments like this that the Jackal's awesome cyber dominance feels like a curse. According to Mr. Sir's phone records, he received three calls from the evil patriarch. <sighs> Anthony offered Sonny to run his whole organization. And if that happens, there's going to be a war. Sorry. I really need Spinelli's help right now. I think of much better ways to, uh, to get out your frustrations. It's not really the time for witty banter. My, what's got you in such a mood? I knew it would happen sooner or later. I just didn't expect it to come so soon. What are you talking about? You betrayed me. You're thick as thieves with my father. Why didn't you tell me about his little master plan? Okay, 
Maxie, I, I, I really need Spinelli to focus. I really working. need him to help me, okay? I'm not known for my compassion, but it really got to me seeing Lulu stuck in Shady Brook. And if you want to help her, just let Spinelli come with me for a little bit. Yeah, the Jekyll will continue to closely monitor that, which will remain unmentioned in Max Mace's presence. Fine, go. You guys go. Thank you. I promise I won't make him do anything you don't want him to do. <laughs> bother you just a little bit considering how competitive you are with your brother me taking one for the team red what oh come on my father wants me to marry sunny it makes perfect sense from a business perspective you know my father can't trust sunny unless he makes him part of the family <laughs> seriously considering this right well not that long ago, my father would have been happy if I was at the bottom of a harbor. This strengthens my position considerably, knowing that I'm useful to him. Yeah, but this is just another one of Anthony's mind games, okay? He's gonna take Sonny on any terms. My father is not going to turn over everything he built his entire life but he, without insurance. He knows that Sonny's not going to accept. Sonny wants revenge against Karpov. He's willing to turn his back on his very best friend to get it. So he's already signaled a willingness to get into bed with the enemy. <laughs> Figuratively, this is the next logical step. Well, I just don't see this as being useful to you, Claudia, on any level. Uh-huh, a little of that old rivalry. Okay, don't do back. that. This is not a competition. No, you're right, it's not. It's business. Don't fool yourself into thinking that you're going to be able to form an alliance with my brother. Your brother's using me. I mean, he would be. Why shouldn't I use him, too? We got a good thing going here, okay? Don't blow it. I know that Sonny has been in contact with Anthony Zakara. Spinelli broke into the phone records. Well, you, well, do something, okay? Let me know. Hey, what's up? Have you have you heard from Sonny? No, not not since I told him not to go after Carpop. Why? Because he's considering an alliance with Anthony Zakara. What do you mean, alliance? Anthony Zakara has offered to let Sonny run his whole organization and give Sonny the manpower he needs to go after Karpov. Sonny can't possibly trust Anthony Zakara. Anthony's only doing this so Sonny's Curry? at ground zero when all hell breaks loose. What, how are you going to stop him, Jason? To stop him? I got to give him back the organization. If Sonny wants power so badly, he's willing to work with Anthony Zakar, give him back the organization. Yeah, Carly, I don't trust him to run things, not right now. I mean, this whole this whole Karpov thing doesn't even make any sense. There's, so, there's something wrong. It's too easy. And, and the only thing Sonny wants right now is revenge. He doesn't care about anything else. I know, and he is going to keep going. No, he's going to he start a war with Karpov. And how am I supposed to hand things back over to him knowing that? It's like giving a kid a loaded gun. Sorry. It's okay. I mean, Sonny thinks I, I don't, I don't want to let go of the power. It's the exact opposite. I wish I could just walk away from, from everything. But I can't. You know, I have an obligation. No. Hey, I, I know that you started all this because of me. And I want you to know that I'm okay. I'm okay. I have custody of Morgan. I want you to do 